Adija Azim Palmer, better known as Vibes Cartel, is a Jamaican reggae dancehall recording artist, composer, record producer, entrepreneur, and convicted murderer. Among his various nicknames, he is referred to as World Boss. As summarized by Rolling Stone, he attained folk hero status in Jamaica with provocative lyrics, and a mischievous public persona, and few have captivated audience, or offended the sensibilities of its detractors dash. As consistently and thoroughly as Cartel. Cartel's singles include Romping Shop, Dancehall Hero, and Summertime. Having collaborated with a number of hip-hop and R&B artists such as Major Lazer, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Digger D, and Unknown T, he has also been credited as an inspiration for the dancehall-infused work of a number of Western artists, including Drake, who has cited Cartel as being one of his biggest inspirations. In 2014, Cartel was sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of his associate Clive Lizard Williams. He will be eligible for parole once he has served a minimum of 35 years in prison. Despite being imprisoned, Cartel continues to release new music prolifically, releasing over 50 new songs in 2016 alone. His hit song Fever was certified gold in June 2020. Chapter 1, Family Vibes Cartel's first child was born on April 18, 2003 when Vibes Cartel was 27 years old, he is the first of three children he had with longtime girlfriend Tanisha Shorty Johnson. Vibes Cartel has six more children from other relationships. On Sunday, May 17, 2020, it was revealed that Vibes Cartel's 15 year old son was expecting a child with an 18 year old woman. Chapter 2 Career Chapter 2 Section 1 1993 2002 Early Career Vibes Cartel started his career as a teenager in 1993 with his first recording Love Fat Woman, released on Alvin Reed's label One Heart, using the moniker Addy Banton, as homage to Buju Banton. Palmer was later part of the three-member group Vibes Cartel, keeping the name after the group split up, and became a protégé of Bounty Killer, for whom he claims to have written nearly 30 songs, including Gal Clown. Chapter 2 Section 2 2003 to 2008, rise to prominence. Cartel rose to prominence in 2003 after a string of hits in Jamaica. The year culminated in a pre planned on stage clash with Ninja Man at the annual dancehall festival Sting in Cartel's hometown of Portmore. The clash turned violent when Cartel's crew members, as well as Cartel himself, threw punches and assaulted Ninja Man on stage. While Cartel's manager initially blamed Ninja Man, Cartel himself quickly apologized to Ninja Man and Sting organizers for the fracas. Four days after the incident, the two artists appeared before the press to announce a settlement of their differences and to end any animosity. From the beginning to midst of his ongoing career, Cartel released a number of albums through the UK based label Greensleeves Records, such as Up 2D Time, More Up 2D Time, and JMT. He established his own label Adijaheim slash Not Nice Records with his business partner and producer Ainsley Not Nice Morris. After splitting with Bounty Killer Led Alliance in 2006, Cartel joined the Portmore Empire, a group of dancehall DJs and singers from his Portmore neighborhood that he signed to his newly founded Adijaheim slash Not Nice Records. The members included Popcorn, Dave Bratt, Gaza Slim, Sean Storm, Sheba, Gaza Indu, Tommy Lee, Singing Maxwell, Sing Blinger, Lenny Matic, Lisa Hype, Gaza Kim, Black Rhino, Jar Vinci, Dosa Medicine, and Meritile Family. In 2008, Corey Todd, an American businessman, signed Vibes Cartel to an endorsement deal for Vibes Rum. The relationship between Todd and Cartel developed into a business partnership. Together they launched Dagger in Condom and Street Vibes Rum. Todd then purchased Jamaica's most popular dancehall nightclub Asylum, which became the home to their weekly event called Street Vibes Thursday. Street Vibes Rum production was stopped in 2011 because of a disagreement between Cartel and Todd. However, 
the collaboration resumed in 2012 as the two settled their differences, and despite cartels ongoing incarceration. Chapter 2 Section 3, 2009-2013, King of the Dance Hall In 2009 his song featuring Jamaican DJ Spice, Romping Shop, debuted on the Billboard Top 100 Singles Chart, and Dollar Sign was in regular rotation on urban radio stations in the US. His 2010 single Clarks was one of his biggest international successes, remaining in the top three reggae singles and gaining the most radio plays in North America for 40 weeks. Clarks was also featured on the TV series, So You Think You Can Dance Canada, and on a CNN segment on Dance Hall Dance. When his singles Clarks, Clarks 2 and Clarks 3, in 2010, its sales numbers and prices in Jamaica increased considerably. In 2011, he released his own shoe line, named Addies, as well as his own line of cake soap, a type of soap primarily used for clothes. Cake soap is less commonly utilized for skin care, to treat skin conditions such as acne. However, Cartel's brand was intended for the purpose of skin lightening or bleaching. MTV's Vice, Guide to Dance Hall featured Cartel at his weekly dance party, Street Vibes Thursday. Vibes Cartel has also hosted his own reality television show Teaches Pet on CVM Jamaica Broadcast Channel, the first reality television show hosted by a dancehall artist in Jamaica. The premise of Teaches Pet found 20 women living in a Kingston house vying for the artist's affection, the show's lascivious content elicited condemnation of its sponsor, telecommunications company Lime. The show came to a halt with the artist's arrest on murder charges in September 2011. Chapter 2 Section 4, 2014 Present, Music from Prison Since his incarceration in 2011, Vibes Cartel has been releasing new music prolifically. Jamaican prison officials have denied allowing him recording privileges, and Cartel has refused to state the exact source of the recordings, whose lyrical content includes current events. In 2016, while in prison, Cartel released his most internationally successful album, King of the Dance Hall, which peaked at number two on the US Billboard reggae charts. The album included the single Fever which topped various local music charts and became his most successful on streaming websites. Cartel re-teamed with Kingston Story producer Dre Skull for the single Real Bad Gal in 2017. Two of his seven children have continued his musical legacy, as Jahim, also known as Little Vibes, and Akil Rahim Palmer, also known as Little Addy, have been releasing music since 2014 as a duo known as Page 13. In 2019, both were featured on the Fully Gaza Rhythm, on separate songs, with Little Vibes teaming with Father Vibes on the title track Fully Gaza, while Little Addy performs solo on Dollar Sign which interpolates portions of the chorus from his father's single of the same name, on the Good Life Rhythm, from 2009. In January 2020, Cartel released a 10-track album, To Tanisha, which was dedicated to his ex-girlfriend and mother of his three children, Tanisha Johnson. They co-produced the album with their respective record labels, Short Boss Music and Vibes Cartel Music. On June 26, 2020, Cartel released his 15th studio album, Of Dons and Divas. He also appeared on Buster Rhymes' 2020 album Extinction Level Event 2, The Wrath of God. Chapter 3, Arrest and Imprisonment Chapter 3 Section 1, Charges on 29 September 2011, Cartel was arrested by police for cannabis possession. Jamaica's major investigation task force later charged him with the murder of Jamaican businessman Barrington Burton, conspiracy and illegal possession of a firearm. While in prison in 2012, his book The Voice of the Jamaican Ghetto, Incarcerated but Not Silenced, co written with business associate Michael Dawson, was published. Though Cartel was granted bail for the Burton murder on March 23, 2012, for JMD $3,000,000, he remained in prison in connection with a second murder of Clive Lizard Williams of Waterford, St. Catherine. He was charged, along with two others, including Vanessa Garza Slim Sadler, with perverting the course of justice, 
after Sadler allegedly claimed that Williams had robbed her in order to mislead the police into believing that he was still alive. Cartel's trial was originally scheduled for January 21, 2013, but had to be postponed due to a lack of jurors, and was rescheduled for July 11. Chapter 3 Section 2 Trial On July 24, a jury found Cartel not guilty of the charge of murder of Barrington Burton. However, Cartel remained in custody pending the second murder case. His trial for the murder of Clive Williams started on November 18, 2013 and on March 13, 2014, he was found guilty by an 11th jury member of the murder of 27-year-old Clive Lizard Williams. The 65-day trial was said to have been the longest in Jamaica's history. Chapter 3 Section 3 Conviction On April 3, 2014, Cartel was sentenced to life imprisonment. Justice Lennox Campbell said he would be eligible for parole after serving 35 years. Chapter 3 Section 4 Appeal Exactly six years later on April 3, 2020, a three-member panel of judges in the Jamaican Court of Appeal reaffirmed Cartel's conviction. On April 17, 2020 the Court of Appeal reduced Cartel's parole eligibility to 32 years and six months citing Justice Campbell's failure to consider time the singer had spent in jail while awaiting trial in 2014. Cartel will now be eligible for parole in 2046. Chapter 4, Controversies Chapter 4 Section 1, 2004 UK MOBO Cartel's 2004 UK MOBO Award nomination was withdrawn amidst controversy over homophobic content of his lyrics. As described by Rolling Stone, Cartel is credited with helping to erode Jamaica's long held taboo against oral sex by singing about blowjobs. Chapter 4 Section 2 Skin Whitening Cartel has come under controversy over perceived skin whitening, or bleaching leading him to claim the use of cake soap to lighten his skin. The Blue Power Group, Jamaican manufacturer of the popular cake soap, has refuted claims it changes skin color. Cartel stated the soap used to lighten his skin was his own company brand, which he intended to release on the local market and to overseas clients. Chapter 4 Section 3, Airwave Ban In September 2011, the National Communications Network of Guyana banned Vibes Cartel from the airwaves, the first such action against a specific artist. NCN spokesman Martin Gulsaran said his music contained obscene lyrics and brought nothing positive to the entertainment industry, on Wednesday 21 September after a week of internal debate. He said NCN was reviewing the lyrics of other musicians and could ban them as well. Chapter 4 Section 4 Feud with Movado A public feud between Cartel and former collaborator Movado arose towards the end of 2006, stemming from Vibe's much-publicized departure from the dancehall conglomerate group The Alliance. The feud resulted in numerous diss tracks released, in which each artist dissed the other and their associates over popular dancehall rhythms. In a police-overseen press conference in March 2007, both Movado and Vibes Cartel publicly announced an end to hostilities and apologized to fans. However, by the summer of 2008, tensions flared with a renewal of diss tracks from each artist, and a lyrical clash between the two at Sting 2000, and eight left mixed views as to the winner. Most of 2009 saw a continuation of the public feud, which dominated Jamaican media and, to a certain extent, Jamaican culture, with the two artists' factions. Gaza and Gully, being adopted by Jamaican youth, in some cases leading to street violence. On December 8, 2009, Cartel and Movado met with Jamaican Prime Minister Bruce Golding in an attempt to end the feud, which had by that time fueled mob attacks in some of the inner city neighborhoods of Kingston. The two had performed together on stage the previous night in a sign of goodwill at the West Kingston Jamboree, a concert promoted by drug lord Christopher Duddus Coke. After the truce in December 2009, the two artists were scheduled to perform a Unity concert in March 2010 in Barbados, which was later cancelled by Bayan Prime Minister David Thompson. Chapter 5, Awards 
2003. Stone Love's 30th Anniversary. DJ of the Year 2005. 2008. Kuma. 2009. M Awards Male DJ of the Year. Lyricist slash Songwriter of the Year. Song of the Year. 2010. M Awards. Chapter 5 Section 1, Nominations Source Vibe UK MOBO Awards Chapter 6, Discography Chapter 6, Section 1, Albums Chapter 6, Section 2, Extended Plays 2009, Gaza 2010, Raw, EP 2011 the Gaza Don. 2011, Coloring Book. 2012, Stronger We Get. 2012, Amsterdam. 2012, Mentally Free. 2013, Time to Be Free. 2021, X-Rated. Chapter 6 Section 3, Rhythm Albums. Vibes Cartel has featured on more than 900 rhythms, slash rhythms from various producers worldwide throughout his career. Chapter 6, Section 4, Singles. Chapter 6, Section 4 Subsection 2 as Featured Artist. Chapter 6, Section 5, Guest Appearances.